Hello my friend, today I am going to tell you what are robots, how do they think and why are they so important in the SEO. Well, simply put, robots are just programs, programs that were created by Google and that programs travel through links. They go to websites and then they look at the content of the website and depending on that content, what they see there, how it looks, the, the, then they decide how to classify that website in the Google ranking, okay? So robots are the key for us to become first in the Google ranking, right? We need to know how they think. If we do not know how they think, then, well, we won't achieve any good results in Google, okay? So let's for example open this catalog demos this is the biggest well and it is probably one of the most official uh, catalog that is supported by google so it's good idea to add your site here however they add only good sites so well we need to know how to create them properly i will of course teach you how to do it so they do not think that you are just spamming Okay, well, when you look at that website here, when the robot, which sometimes is called spider, enters this website, they are called spiders because, you know, spiders walk on the web. And, well, it is the web page. So <laughs> when the spider walks into this page, it looks at the content, okay? It see all the possible text and all possible links, right? Here we have got links everywhere. And when, for example, he finds a link like that, firstly, he needs to see if he can go there because, well, sometimes you want to restrict, restrict some content from the bots because you do not want it to be indexed. It happens. Like, for example, why would you want to index, for example, the terms and condition of your website, right? It would be just ways of space. So uh, when, for example, we have got here art, right? Well, the robot understand this word, okay? They are intelligent, they understand arts, business, computers, because, you know, the creators uh, told them that, well, computers are associated with, for example, words like a PC, like internet software and other things like that, right? So when we click on the computers and when the robot enters the computers, he expects words like, for example, the one that are here. And if you create your own website and you name your link computers and there are no keywords that are connected to computers, then this robot might think, oh, this guy is trying to scam me, right? <laughs> so it is very important to create the content for each web page. You can't have the empty page and uh, you know, suppose that your website will rank high in Google. That's just impossible. You need to create a great content, okay? That's the first step. And that content must be similar to the keyword that links to you, okay? So, for example, we have got here computers, and as you can see, we have got things dedicated to computers, like, for example, I know, algorithms. When you go to algorithms, as you can see, we have got subcategories and they are connected to the algorithms. And let's go, for example, to complexity. Okay. And as you can see now, we have got here what? We have got here a few keywords inside the link. And here we have got a description of that thing above. Now let's read this description. This is a pre preliminary version of the catalog of NP optimization problems. Have you noticed that this description is connected to the link? Right, a compendium of NP optimization problems, right? So as you can see, you have got here two times, NP optimization problem, NP optimization problems. This is a description that is really connected to this link. And you know, your the, the spider that is on this website now likes this link even more for these keywords, right? For the NP optimization problems, okay? So 
the thing that you should learn from it is that when you are creating articles on another web page, not it doesn't need to be your web page, and you link to your main web page that you want to position up in the Google, then you should create a content with the keywords that uh, that you are interested in, right? So for example, here, as you can see, is MP optimization problems. If you wanted to position on bicycle, you should type something with the bicycle here and also here, right? But of course, it doesn't mean that if you type it, for example, 100 times, then it's, you're gonna position higher. No, 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 no. If you, you know, overdo it, then you're gonna be banned, okay? So you're gonna lose everything. What you, you you just not gonna show anymore in the Google, <laughs> because Google uh, bots are not so stupid, right? The, you, you need to know how frequent you want to use these keywords. I will teach you how how frequent you should use keywords like that in future lessons. Right now, I just want you to know how robots think. They look at the content, and if that content is friendly, if that control is really use could be useful for somebody then yeah it's 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 okay what else means useful for the spider well look at that link here isn't it friendly link when you look at it computers computer science theoretical complexity theory that's really great link but some people have links like for example index.php uh, exclamation mark p equals four and uh and g equals 24 and bam, 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 bam. This is not friendly, okay? So Google bots look at, ver at every possible thing that could make your website more friendly. Like, for example, let's go on this website. Let's check the source. So control plus U on, uh, I use the shortcut. And let's, for, for example, for headers. As you can see here, we have got the header, a compendium of NP optimization problems. So let's look here. Oh, here is a he headline, right? A headline that is bolded and it means for Google, hey, this is very important. Uh, that, 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 that's, that's the thing that, uh, you know, not only robots see as important, but also uh, the person that uh, entered this website instantly see that, hey, this is a competitive of MP optimization problem. Okay, so this means that this thing is uh, gonna be important and we should rank this website higher for this keyword. And of course, if you, for example, repeated it 500 times here without any other content, then you would get banned, okay? So don't overdo it. <laughs> but the, the important thing that I want to tell you is that the Google looks for things like headers, it looks for images. As you can see, there is no images. So this website is probably not so friendly, uh, but maybe there are so many people linking to it that if you type this, it's gonna be first anyway, right? Because the most important for Google is how many people links to you, how they link to you, what is the content be uh, around the links and what is your content, right? Okay, so let's repeat the thing that we have learned in this lesson. What do spiders do? They look for links, for the name of links, for the environment of links. So if there is a text image that surrounds the link and they have in their algorithm over 300 factors, I haven't said that, but there is over 300 factors taken into consideration how your website is gonna be indexed in Google ranking. We will learn in future lessons, these factors. They check if the website is friendly, right? This is very important trend. By friendly, I mean if it has pictures, how they are called, or even if you use headlines to separate your text, which makes it easier to read, right? That's, that's why when you have got headlines on your website, uh, it's good when you have, for example, the title headline, when you have got the uh, sub headlines, right? For, for, for content, it makes your content uh, more readable, right? It's easier to read. And well, the Google thinks, hey, okay, this, this website is good because uh, that guy that created it knows how to write. So this content might be good for our users, okay? So what matters the most? 
the most important thing in SEO is how other talks, how do they link to us, okay? And what content we have. As we have noticed, here is a catalog and that catalog talks about this, right? This website here. And it talks like that. Hey, the link is a company of NP optimization problems. And here is some kind of description of it. Well, it would be better, but well, it's not possible to have in catalog like that so many, so so much text. Uh, if there was an article about the company of NP optimization problems, big article of, with over at least 500 words, and then inside of it that good article about this exactly problem, which will be unique, would be uh, there would be inside a link like that then it would be even better, okay? So robots are taking into consideration how people links to you. And that's why it's very important to learn how to get links. And that's what we, of course, gonna do in the future lessons and how to create a great content. So for example, your company website won't be linked if there is not any useful or funny information on it. So if you do not have articles about the content that you have, or you have good description of the content of your website, which is very short, then it's going to be hard for you to position up. I will, of course, give you hints how to change it. Because, you know, people tend to link to things that are just useful or fun. They rarely link to commercial websites. That's why you must create content like that. Uh, so for example, you can create a forum that they can talk with each other. Mm, and what's more, in order to rank it high, you need to know how to create the content. So when the robots see your content, it will make it run higher, right? And that's the things that we'll learn in our future lessons. Okay, that's only the lesson. Thank you very much.